Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good evening, Eastern Iowa. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Cassie. We have a few, or I should say a couple, Storm Track 7 yellow alert days for extreme heat and strong severe storm potential. The heat will be mainly tomorrow afternoon. It will obviously be hot tonight, but the worst of the heat is now over by the time you're watching this, but could see heat indexes up to, or heat indices, I should say, up to 110, especially in our central and southern areas. Strong severe storm potentials this evening, as well as during the day on Monday. Really, this is for all of Eastern Iowa. So we'll step to your future track here. As of now, there has not been issued any severe thunderstorm watch. Again, this is as of 530, but scattered showers and storms and maybe a few strong to severe storms are possible. The main threats would be gusty winds. Also could see maybe some isolated large hail as well as maybe some funnel clouds and a brief weak tornado. So we'll keep an eye on that here as we go through the evening hours. But you'll see through future track here, again, might expand in coverage here over the next couple of hours. Then by 9 o'clock, starting to be on our southern and eastern edge. And I think by 10 o'clock, it'll be out of the area. And then the rest of the night will be partly cloudy, with maybe a little bit of fog due to the light winds and kind of leftover moisture from the rain tonight. Overall tonight, low temperatures, they're going to be very warm and going to be very humid. Lows in the low to mid 70s. Showers and storms, some may be strong to severe and winds are going to be light after those storms move through at 5 to 10. As we wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like the mid to upper 70s and it's not going to get any better, obviously, as we go through the rest of the day. Here's noon and you can see already some areas in the triple digits. You notice New Hampton and Decorah, we could see some early morning showers and storms there, but watch how quickly it recovers during the afternoon, shooting back up to the upper or mid to upper 90s, excuse me. And again, some areas could get to the 110 degree range, especially south of Highway 20. So be very careful as you're outside tomorrow afternoon. With all of this energy and a strong cold front on the way from the north, we are under a level three risk for much of eastern Iowa for tomorrow afternoon and evening and a level two risk for the rest of the area. The main threat with this is going to be damaging wind gusts, and we could see wind gusts 60, 70, maybe 75 miles per hour or higher. That's significant wind gusts, and that is the potential in this level three risk. Maybe could see a few tornadoes with kind of this organization of storms. So usually you kind of get these what are called mesovortices. Basically what it means is as the storms develop along the line, sometimes you can get kind of the strongest area of the line. You can get some spin ups. And I think the best chance of that's going to be south of Highway 20. Maybe you could see some larger hail initially with storms, but it's not as cold up in the upper parts of the atmosphere. It's very warm. So I think by the time it gets to the, the ground, it will at least melt a little bit. But some large hail could be a possibility with the initial storms. But then as they organize, the damaging wind gusts will definitely be the biggest threat. So we'll pick things back up here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and maybe a chance of some fog. Then early morning, or I should say late morning, early afternoon, you see those showers and isolated storms move through our northern areas. This is going to be something to watch as we head into the day on Monday. If it maps out like this, where it's just kind of light showers and nothing too strong by the time it gets here, then we could see some redevelopment during the afternoon and evening. If they remain strong as they move through here, this could shift the timing and location that maybe now the storms will be here. You know, this will be the threat during the late morning and early afternoon rather than late afternoon and evening. But I think as of now, these will kind of fizzle out by the time they get here. And I think late afternoon into the evening hours is going to be the best chance. Here's three o'clock starting to see the showers and storms start to strengthen a little bit, tapping into that energy. And here's five o'clock and you're noticing very strong storms, maybe some gusty winds as well as some large hail, maybe a tornado or two. And then as it becomes more organized, you can see this is where maybe we could see the best chance of these tornadoes as they develop along the line. Seven o'clock, very heavy rain, obviously, with this as well. By 10 o'clock, I think the majority of it will be out of the region. We'll stay dry for the rest of the night. But south of I-80, we'll have to watch for any additional development here. You can see Keokuk and Washington County seeing that as well. So we'll see south of I-80 at past 10 o'clock if there's any redevelopment. Otherwise, for your Tuesday, will be partly cloudy and the cold front will move through, bringing a lot more comfortable conditions. Overall, tomorrow, high temperatures along and north of Highway 20, upper 80s and low 90s. South of Highway 20, low to mid 90s. Very humid. Dew points will be in the mid 70s, maybe upper 70s at times. And as I mentioned, showers and storms could be strong to severe. After Monday, the dew points are going to drop. That cold front is a strong one. That's why we're going to see the chance of strong to severe storms. But it's also going to bring in a lot drier air. Tuesday, we're going to see them maybe start those dew points in the low to mid 60s. Then we'll end in the low 60s by the evening. Wednesday will be in the mid to upper 50s. And Thursday and Friday will be even better. And with that, we'll be very dry after Monday. Your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. So you see Monday to Tuesday, temperatures drop about 10 degrees, then about 5 to 6 degrees for Wednesday. And Wednesday and beyond, 
You can't get much better than this from mid to late July. Mostly sunny Wednesday through Friday. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, maybe a low 80 on Friday. The weekend looking nice. Upper 70s, low 80s for high temperatures. Comfortable dew points. And then maybe some isolated chances for rain next week. But even next week, temperatures remain on the seasonal side for mid to late July.